So if you look at this bone structure of the bone, you'll see the one side's thicker than the other, and you'll see that's the inside, because the center of gravity on a horse is towards the inside. The center of gravity on a horse is at the shoulder, um, so you can imagine how much weight gets put onto the front feet versus the back feet. Three quarters of its weight is generated on its front feet. The hind feet are for traction and they push your horse away and the front feet just basically carry a lot of weight. Our horse's shoe is going to be sitting at that level, right there. And surrounding it is what soft tissue that is very malleable, that actually moves. So it's very much like a car tire with air in it and it can move around. Come boya, come on. Now if you can look here, you can see a white line. And that is our border between the sensitive and the insensitive. So anything on the outside I can use to nail to. Anything on the inside, I'm going to hit blood. So now what I'm doing is I'm just going to match up the shoe size to his foot. And that's perfect. It's an aluminium plate. It weighs about 97 grams. And we race all the horses here with this. And that's it, as you can see, he's got almost the perfect foot. I rode horses from the age of four, and it's just a natural progression. I started trimming horses when I was 14, and then shoeing them from 20, and that's what, 31 years ago. So yeah, it's just a natural progression in life, I think. And I think it's an affinity with horses. And what's nice is this has taken me, I've worked in the States for nine years, South Africa for 12 years, England now for five years, and Dubai for six years before that. So it's taken me all over the world. And the trade's the same, no matter where you are in the world. Right, that's it. Now I'm just going to turn them over. That's one thing about Godolphin is they, they've got a team of highly qualified people and they all know what they are doing and they communicate with each other and it's, it is as a family. You know, you, because you're traveling around the world together, you get to know your teammates very well. You're totally responsible for what you do. In a, in a way, it's hard work. But in another way, at least you know, when the horse leaves your shop, you are the last one to touch it. So I think that's very important. Now I think the innovations in this game are going to really change over the next 10 years to benefit horses. So there, I'm just filling up all the old nail holes and neatening it up. This is the latest technology, which is your plastic shoes, and they are micro light. If you compare them to half the weight of an aluminium shoe, I think that could be the future. Um, it, as it evolves over time, I think we could be going towards that. In Dubai at the moment, we're racing on dirt. And the average trainer is racing with a hand shoe that's got a toe grab and a little bit of a heel turned down. And this is purely for traction. I personally don't like that size toe. I just like a toe that's about that big. It's about two millimeters. Because the purpose of a hind shoe in the dirt is when it gets down, it actually goes down into the dirt and it creates almost like a starting block. And it pushes away from that starting block. The heel corks, what they'll do, or the heel turndowns, will stop the foot from going in too deep. And the toe grab sometimes will give it too much traction. So you, you don't want to stop the foot in the ground. You just want it to go down, stop, and then pull away. So we are busy working on different horses winning over the next couple of weeks will dictate as to what shoes we'll use as time evolves. I love it. I love watching the horses race. I love watching horses the last shoe race. Because it's pride. You want your horse to be successful. You want the horse to win. Um, and it's a sense of achievement when they decapass the line first.
very much so. Every stride it takes is what's important to get the horse past the line. And, and, and a small mistake can cost you a nose which can lose your eyes. Horses, they feel. If you hit them, they get cross. If you love them, they love you back. Um, if you stroke them, they enjoy it. It's, it's, it's an affinity you have with them. It's just something that's in you that enjoys being around horses. And I do, I enjoy being around horses, without a doubt. It's, been, it's part of my life. I can't imagine my life without it. <laughs>